Hi everyone, my name is Z and I'm the Fairy Medicine Woman. I am a psychic medium, healer, teacher of all things spiritual, mystical, and fun. Um, so today I wanted to talk about the difference between, and yes, I'm covered in green dots, <laughs> the difference between divine intervention and ancestors intervening and blocking something, right? Like people tend to use them inter interchangeably, but they're completely different. The energy is different. And even though when the ancestors step in, it is like an intervention, they're not the same whatsoever. So um, let me kind of explain a little bit about both. And I would love to know in the comments, did you actually know they were different or have you experienced either of those? Do you know what I'm talking about? Let's start with that. Um, so, you know, we have jokes in especially the black community. I feel like we're constantly talking about our ancestors, you know, blocking stuff, right? Like, especially if you are really connected and rooted um, in your lineage and your history and your spirituality, having the ancestors around you to help you is something you it's super common not everybody talks about ancestors but it's just something that's understood um and a lot of the times when ancestors intervene um there's a few different things that you can kind of look for like if it's a harsh block like no matter what you do like you seem to not get the job or you know if they want you to stay away from some person. They're going to make like it's going to be it's going to be very people feeling um, like you might recognize the energy in which ancestor it's actually coming from. Um, they might reveal to you truths about the other person without the other person having to talk to you. So that can also be an intervention of your ancestors stepping in. So they may leave things around for you to find or tell you how to interact with them before you interact with them. Like that's also them intervening. Um, they'll also <laughs> like sometimes if you can see spirits, right? Like you may physically see them intervening. Um, another sign, you know, my friend and I had talked about is sometimes like if my ancestors need to go intervene on my behalf in like another situation that is attached to me they will go do the work and her ancestors will step in and like help or my deities will step forward more or like whatever it is so the ancestors are very much so like an earthly intervention i feel like they do a lot of like day-to-day -day things relationships family things they'll protect you from other family members um <laughs> they're <laughs> likely the ones if like someone speaks ill on you like they're the ones to help send the karma back to them like they help in a very like 3d day-to-day -day, um kind of thing and they'll protect you like you can call to your ancestors like full ass protect you from literally everything and they just will and they move fast like they move super super fast especially if you connect with your ancestors all the time um and again like it varies from person to person but um most of the time when i've had ancestors intervening it's like they they will specifically come forward and tell me a message or they'll tell me a message through someone or they'll be speaking to me while the event is happening. Um, or they're like, this is for your own good. <laughs> and then like whatever, need, like whatever needs to crumble will crumble. Um, or I remember I needed protection from someone very specific and <clears throat> I specifically call on my spiritual warrior side for certain things because they're just, they're ruthless, but they're strong. And it's like my Hail Mary moment. Um, and then I'll usually see spiritual warriors somewhere or the lineage that they're attached to um, as a confirmation that like they handled it. So that's how you can kind of see like, how the ancestors intervene um 
The difference with like a full ass divine intervention is very cosmic, very spiritual. Sometimes it can be extremely biblical, <laughs> extremely, depending on like where you're at on your spiritual journey, on your generational healing journey, on your ancestral journey will dictate how strong your intervention is going to be, right? Like how big your spiritual team is um, and how much, like how big of an impact your purpose is on the world. So for instance, like in different phases of my life, um, and I've seen this in other people too, in different phases of their lives, intervention can be like, um, you know, maybe you get saved in an accident or maybe uh, things start disappearing around you or falling apart so that you can get pushed in the right direction. Like that's more of a divine intervention. It's kind of like unexplainable shit starts to happen. Even though that can happen with the ancestors, it almost makes more sense when they're doing it because it's more obvious. But divine intervention is very like, you don't really know what's going on. You just know like this is fucking weird. <laughs> like it's the weirdest thing. Um, a good example was, you know, last time or last year around this time, um, I was driving and um, someone was like in a car in the turning lane and I was going straight and they had already turned and went on the other side of the road, like a completely different road, and I was going straight, and then all of a the sudden they decided to turn around for no good reason, speed up and T-boned my car um, while I was like delivering food. And it was like one thing after another, like freakish shit like that would happen. One thing after another, I kept getting sick, and then I was like, I got sick to the point where I almost died, and then like, like, it was like all these divine intervention things back to back that were like so unlikely. Um, and then once I kind of accepted, cause I was like, okay, I give up, I'll <laughs> like surrender, I'll leave, I'll do like whatever you tell me to. Cause they're, the divine intervention is like, they're repositioning you for your destiny, for your path. The ancestors will do that too, but they'll help in a very different sense, like very different sense. Um, but divine interventions, like you have a destiny and I need you to stop. <laughs> like, do you remember what we sent you here to do? Um, and again, the more you work with your spiritual team, the stronger the connection gets. So this last time I had divine intervention, it was horrifying. <laughs> I like, it was helpful. Like it's always helpful. And they like, it's kind of like, <sighs> so the stronger it gets, <laughs> so let me just, I'm gonna write about it in my book, but I'm just gonna tell you a little bit of it. Um, so I work with an the ancestors, my ancestors, my ancestors from like my entire lineage. My lineage is ginormous. Um, and I also work with ancestors in other lifetimes. And I also work with like, like probably like 50 deities, not all at one time, but they kind of like sub out. I meet new ones like every single day, like it just changes. Um, and I also work with spirit and I also work with animals and I also heavily work with archangels specifically. Um, and when you get really connected with archangels, I feel like that's when things get really odd, <laughs> like really odd. Cause it's almost like, and I want to make another video about archangels because their communication is almost like a lightning bolt through a tube straight to earth and there's no filter like there's no there's no like oh that was a message from michael like when you really like when they really want you to pay attention it's intense like it's like fierce it's intense it's direct and they're like boom <laughs> like <laughs> we're here to help you boom we're just gonna change shit real fast and it's gonna freak you out i don't care keep going um, like they're, it's very like decisive things. Um, and so this last time 
uh, I kept feeling this energy like like it was really weird like I we like kind of knew that we needed to come back to California and I was like why do they keep telling me to like get rid of my stuff and so I was like okay every place I went I got rid of my stuff they were like keep getting rid of your stuff even more even more even more and I was like okay what like what is going on and I was like fuck <laughs> like something is coming um and then we were at like a hotel and something just felt off and someone I was traveling with it was like there were expenses that were supposed to be $200, but then it was like $800. And then it was like, this was supposed to be $100 and it was like $900. Like it was like, m like money was just <laughs> lying chunks, like through chunks. And it was like, boom, 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 all in one day, all like in the span of like 30 minutes. And then I open the door and this guy is just like, bah! like yelling. And immediately I was like, fuck it's happening again. And you know, the, uh, the person I was with was like, what is this? And I was like, it's divine intervention. We have to run. <laughs> like literally I could hear the ancestors and the guides and everybody being like, you need to leave now. Like <laughs> you're last to like run for it. And I was like, Oh my God, what is going on? Um, so we like throw our shit in the car and it ended up being like a really tiny car. And I'm like, no wonder I had to get like give shit away um and then like I had gotten a reading from one of my Sybil sisters I like to call and they were like you have four days <laughs> you have four days to get to California and I was like uh I knew it <laughs> I knew it um and so to like divine intervention me there they just like like, well, divine both of us there because there was more than one of us. It was just very freaky, like supernatural things you see on TV type of things were happening. And it was like lightweight scary. And I remember like sleeping because I, cause I was like, we're not, we're not, we can't get a hotel. Like they said, it's, it's like not allowed. If we're going to make it from the furthest part of the U.S. to the other part of the U.S. in four days, we don't have time for it. Um, and so we just fucking drove as fast as we could. Um, anytime we tried to use our card for like an extra stop, didn't work every time, every time. And, um, I remember one of the nights, one, like they had fallen asleep a little bit earlier. Like we stopped a little bit earlier, but I was already sleeping. And then I got like this, like push on my, so like someone pushed me and they were like, you stopped too early. And I was like, what? And then I looked and they were sleeping and I was like, this, <laughs> I'm like, y'all are just not going to let it go. Um, and it was just like, it was just, it was just the weirdest fucking thing. And it was like, we didn't have a choice really. It was really just, we threw away, got rid of everything that we had basically, took our dogs and like left. And I was like, we cannot be late. Like it, they, they're literally counting, <laughs> like they're counting, um, and we, the car that we had driven from um, where we were in Hilton Head all the way to California was like the last car on the island. It was the very last car on the island. It was like a tiny car. I called it the Cranberry. Um, and it, it's just really wild. Like, but to see the intervention earlier in the day in terms of like, the yelling and all that stuff like it was very like oh like shots fired <laughs> like literally I was like this is like not this is not good and um as I was driving you know they were like you have your rosary just keep it with you and I was like what's happening to me um so like 
divine intervention is very different than ancestral intervention. And while the ancestors are there, they don't step in as much because divine intervention is heavily tied to your purpose and what you were sent here. Like it's, um, it's like, I feel like it's different energy frequencies. Like the an ancestors are very earthly, very grounding, very like earthly realm. And divine intervention is very cosmic, very like unexplainable. We'll do everything and anything to redirect you. Even if it doesn't make sense, you're not going to know what to do. And we're just going to go pow, 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 pow until you get there. Like you're like, ah, ah, wait. Um, cause they're like, you have a timeline. We need you to get to hermit mode so you can like expand and we can like push you back out like a cute little butterfly like it's very um yeah it's very interesting and when you work with uh like deities and archangels their energy is intent like really intense not in a bad way but like when you receive divine intervention from an archangel or a deity it's not even that they're doing anything like it's well I feel like the archangels kind of like orchestrate things and it's like instant like they're just pushing it feels like they're just pushing buttons <laughs> like pushing buttons and they're like oop close the door oop pop the tire <laughs> like those type of things um and then you like see their names like right after on a sign or something you're like great thanks um where like the deities I feel like will just take a step back and I think that's where people get confused about working with deities like they're not spiteful unless you do something to them they will just take a step back so whatever they were keeping from you especially if they do protection work for you hits you a little <laughs> like it hits you a little um so then you can get used to like what their energy feels like when they're around you and it feels really different which we can go into another video um but i just wanted to share kind of the difference between divine intervention and ancestral like intervention because they're very different um in my opinion i feel like the ancestors are very very sweet gentle loving and divine intervention is like they mean business <laughs> they mean not that the ancestors don't mean business but i mean like they mean business in a completely different way and it just will blow your mind where you don't have time to think about where the ancestors are very much so like you know it's us, like, we're trying to help you, we're trying to protect you, we're, like, divine interventions, like, do what we say, move it, <laughs> like, and you're just, like, <laughs> you just kind of left there, like, all right, well, it's in my best interest, so whatever you say, um, and you just always, you have to trust, like, you always have to trust, and when it happens, regardless of what it is, like, Again, it's always in your best interest. It's there to help you. It's there to allow you to grow. You know, people talk about what souls agreed to before they got here. Like, yeah, I mean, whatever life that you chose to live here is the life that you will fulfill. And contracts are also a real thing. So if you have a contract to do something in this life, um, some of them you don't get to choose <laughs> free will and some of them you can but i will also explain that in another video um because you know dealing with love contracts as i have been talking about before is a very different case because people can choose free will depending on the type of contract and while some folks say energy will like appear in another body it's a little bit different than that so um 
hopefully this was helpful if you have questions drop them below if it resonated drop them below <laughs> be sure to like and subscribe and also just share it with your friends so people can um, be educated on this stuff it's a lot of fun I also just opened a bunch of new sessions on my link tree so if you want any tarot inner child healing I'm doing Reiki sessions now ancestral connection sessions so if you want to connect with your ancestors I can take you to the shadow realm and we can go together um, and you'll also meet like your animal guide and your life stone is what I like to call it um, and I also will be offering astrology and then I have like menstrual health sessions. So if you have a cycle and just need some help and support with like pain relief, exhaustion, bloating, like it's way too long or it's spotty, like whatever it is, you can book a session and I can help you hope with holistic medicine to get you to where you want to go and figure out kind of what's going on. Um, and I'll give you like food and herbalism and tips and advice and stuff for you to do at home so we create like a little regimen um and i believe the last one i don't know if i said it is intuitive reading session so you can come and ask uh i believe i put two questions and i will intuitively read your energy to help give you the answers and just share any messages that are coming through because i am a medium so i will share those um, as well and most of the time if your energy is open it's like rapid fire things will start <laughs> will start coming out as many of my friends know because I zone out a lot and I just have to stop and then like sorry I just I have to interrupt you <laughs> like I need to tell you like this one this and this and this what are you eating it's yellow it's not good for you <laughs> like like it's a fun time um there's a bunch of stuff to explore and then there's a breakthrough coaching session which is really like if you need mindset shifts and things like that because I do do empowerment coaching and generational healing so if you have things like that like we can totally work on that as well um and they all reopen today it's been a while since I've had many of them open and some of them are brand new um, and I'm super, super excited. So check out the link in the description. Again, follow along on my page, like and subscribe, share this with your friends. And if you enjoyed this video, like it, tell me if it was helpful. Um, so I know that it's actually beneficial to your life. Okay. Um, and follow me on TikTok and Instagram and all the things, and I will talk to you all soon. Bye-bye, Tater Tots.